Hey guys, welcome to my third week of Ether Raids. This is Astro Season, my name is Micho, and yeah, let's hope for a good week this time. Last week we reached tier 27. We were barely outside top 1k in the end. I think we were, we were around 1,130, something like that. So just outside top 1k, very, very close. Would have hit it if there was no lift loss on defense. So very, very good. Um, I did promise that I would show my defense. It is now pretty much complete. So this is my defense. This is how it looks right now. It is a Mirabilis debuff based defense, basically. Um, one ideal addition I would want, honestly, which I think would be quite interesting, was I would experiment around, if I do get it, um, giving Soth a broadly fan. I'm not sure how many debuffs I can stack on this team, but if it's enough, he might actually be an interesting unit to give Broadly Fan to on an AR defense. Something I've never seen before, really, but it might work. It would be interesting. I think it'd be very cool to kind of go full on on the debuff um, theme defense. But the way it works currently is Mira has a ploy. This Mira also has a ploy. She's not really there for the first turn. That's where Sonya comes in, right? And it's probably best seen if I just do a test defense, because then you can actually see the actual stats. So, not getting debuffed by Sonya is a bit of a challenge. I mean, I can still give her some Dragon Flowers. Currently, she's at 43. She's, this is an unmerged, not great IVs, still a massive threat, right? In case you forget, um, this is what her weapon does. Uh, at the start of turn one, she gets a special cooldown count of minus two and it deals plus 10 damage when the special triggers. The result is <laughs> she has a turn one Glacies ready due to infantry pulls on Soph and on Ike. And she has AR defense attack res three from Spring Flora in the A slot, which gives her plus 10 if none of the structures are destroyed. Now, whether I keep the structures here like this is something I will consider. I am considering switching one of the pots over here, which would make getting the pots easier, but at the same time destroying the structures harder, because um, she does want the structures to be intact in order to get the most for her attack and res. So the way this works is she gets something like plus 52 or so to her damage, right? So even in, in chances are she's doing damage considering her attack is effectively 58 if no structures are destroyed. So she's very, very, very strong. She is a hardy bearing unit, right? One shot from her, you're, you're pretty much dead, especially if you're like in this lane, try to try to abate here. Consider this, she's debuffing your res, them too, their weapon will activate in this middle lane. So if you bait here, you're getting effectively minus 11 to your res and, <laughs> and Sonya is attacking with 58 attack and 50 damage boost. Have fun. This lane is just death. It's absolute death. And in case there wasn't death, death enough, I have a um, guided seal here. Um, maybe some people will miss it. I, I hope to upgrade it. It's only guided it's one until now. It's the main problem, really, I would say for now. And then we have Lysithia. Without an assist, she used to have speed, um, rally speed death, but I want to see how it works without, um, considering that I now gave the rally to Sonya so that she can jump here and then from there on out attack um, on this side here. So Soth can't be baited out because that's something that was actually possible with Soth baiting out. I, I don't think it would be possible now anyhow, honestly, considering that now I have Lysithia without an assist so she would move immediately. But, but still, I, I do think I can avoid that. Um, because Soth would initiate before Lysithia actually does anything, so, yeah, I, I, I prefer this, honestly. And, yeah, I have tried it. it, it does work, it leads to some interesting unit movement if you try to bait from here. And Sonya does attack, and most units don't take that well. Um, let's put it like that. You, I don't think there is a, a unit that can pretty much completely take out, unless you have like massive damage reduction, you're, you're not surviving this intact. And then you still have to consider that, you know, there's a, um, there's a Lysithia that will follow up and then also hit here. So like there are massive threats on this map. Um, so this is a threat of, on his own, honestly, um, just because 
Once you have the debuffs proccing here, and you have many that kind of activate with the units here, um, especially in like turn two, when the move, when the units move out of place, what essentially what usually happens is one mirror is here and one is here, so that both of these lanes are being completely debuffed. And when both of these lanes are being completely debuffed by them, and you have any sort of debuff as a result on you, which you probably do, um, they're basically together giving minus six to attack, res, and defense. And then you, on top of that, get a 57 Soth, who's further going to have his Moonbow ready, and he can do a lot of damage, even if you have high defense or whatever, like, he does a lot of damage. He can even one-shot you. I was, I'm, I'm still contemplating whether to give him Glimmer. It's something I'll see throughout the week. I do have Glimmer on him, I could give it to him. But depending on how he does with Moonbow and all of that, I, I think it'll be fine. Ike is the, the, the tank that moves everybody behind him whenever possible, that's why he has reposition. So that whenever the mages move in front, he goes and he repos them back. Which I always want him to do, like repo the mages out of the opponent's range. That's, that's really what I want him to do so that he's in the range, he doesn't care at all, honestly. That's that's not a concern for him, because he has 33 res, 38 defense, and damage, damage reduction, so... His, he's very, 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 very bulky. I've left the healing tower back here because I've, I I discussed it a bit in the Discord and, and they suggested that, you know, like, this is too snipeable. And I see it, right? You can just smite on here and then snipe it. And then that's, that's a bit too risky for me. I still don't think it's a massive problem considering Sonya would just, you know, that's it. She, she takes it out. She's the hardy bearing. You're going to lose that unit there, but... I'm not a fan of, of that. I'll see how it works, like maybe if I if this becomes a liability due to the, 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 the lack of healing range down here, I might consider the trade-off of, of moving it, considering Sonya can probably one-shot any real threat. Kranias are going to be one-shot, there's just no question. I mean, we, we can just, I can just show this, right? Um, what happens? Yep, so, and, and, and that's like a full HP Kranya, basically, so, yeah. So that's how the defense basically works. Um, it's, it, it's an onslaught, and my hope is that it does, it has enough powerful units, it does enough damage to take out two units. That's all I wanted to do, just take out two units, the zero lift loss, right? That's all I wanted to do. I don't want any more. Uh, I don't mind if people give up after one unit lost. That's usually what you would hope. But, you know, it's anima season. Many people, um, astra season. Many people do take such losses, uh, such wins. One unit loss, win, right? So yeah, but we'll see how it works, how it functions. I think it's fun. I, th I think it's a lot of fun. I, th I like that it's a very, very, very different defense mythic. And I am... Um, Wondering long term whether, depending on like who else I pull on, on newer uh, legendary and mythic banners, there is one coming up not too long into the future with Thrasir. And Thrasir on this team would also be nasty, considering that killing intent um, combos with debuffs. But at the same time, I'm actually not sure she's better than Sonya. Like on a regular basis, like consistent damage probably honestly because um <clears throat> because what happens is then she of course doubles usually and killing intent allows her to immediately double she procs moonbow all kinds of stuff so in that way like um she's a, she's a bigger s threat based on her speed and damage output there but sonya is like one shot damage out, but potential, and I would have to then, you know, switch it out, um, probably Lysithia would become the the Hardy Baron unit, I would have to see how it works. I'm very happy with how this setup works with with Sonya currently, honestly, because I can also run a, a ploy with her, and this way all three lanes here are being debuffed. The only one that isn't being, debu being debuffed is here on the left, but here on the left you have an overlapping range of Sonya and Lysithia and Sonya can rally here and then get danced and cover this whole side here. So consider it if you're going to go over the left, there are big threats coming. I'm 
I'm not sure how it will work. We'll see as the week progresses, but I'm, I'm very happy with the defense as it looks, honestly, like as a first attempt, quite, quite happy. Um, so, um, this week we can finally run Legendary Ike, so he, I'm running him on some setups, as you can see. And, but otherwise the teams are the same. I am also running a Legendary Julia here. Um, if you remember the last time Astro was around was water season, so I was running Legendary Krom. This week we are running Julia. And, anything else that's changed? No. We have all the skill sets. Let's go! It is a Karania team. <laughs> hmm. Heals 20, and I can't really get to it. I definitely can't get to it, actually. Or can I? No, I'm guessing that's probably the real trap. On the other hand, the thing that's that's odd is they have boxed in their units. I mean, okay, my healing tower is gonna go boom, whatever. Um, plus one, he's got distant counter. Wow, this Fjorm is bulky, Jesus. That is an impressive Fjorm. I mean, honestly, very, very impressive. Huh, who can even take her? Um, do I just match her against Ike? Maybe. I do think Ike can at least survive her. I mean, she will double him. I think his speed is 30... Is it 34, maybe? Yeah, his speed is 34. I should give him the flowers. <laughs> um, hmm. But otherwise... There's no dancer. And considering there's no dancer, what I can do... Is... I can bait with Sita. Here. How do I take out the rest of the units, though? That I'm not so sure about. Hmm. Like, maybe Altina can take out Kranya. I don't think Kranya can one-shot her. And on Retaliation, she should be fine. Yeah, I think on Retaliation, Altina should be able to take out Kranya. Um, Klein is no worry. Klein will be one shot. Now, what is very odd is the blessing here. I mean, guys, like, uh, come on, you have two Anima Mythics. At least run Anima Blessed units or correctly, you know, heroes, uh, legendary heroes in the in the right season. I mean, we have what is it? Earth and Earth and Earth and Wind, I think, right? So why are you running Marth and Fjorm? It's just, and then a water blessed Klein. It's just pointless. Just give him a, the right blessing. It's just so cheap and it's going to save you so much lift. Don't do this. And it's also going to give him like some, some, some stats, right? It would give him defense, it would give him attack. Like why would you not want that on, on a Klein? He's just gonna be one shot on retaliation by, by Sita. Um, yeah. Um, anybody else who... Does anybody else concern me? Mm. I mean, I know it's going to happen... Once... Thrasir is killed here. 
he's going to move, or Kranya's going to move, and they're going to destroy the structure. Does anybody have a hardy bearing, though? No, no hardy bearing. Very interesting. I'm Klein without... Mm. See, I would recommend, if you do have a Klein, um, either, well, first of all, either give him Swift Sparrow 3, but I think probably his, like, unless you want to build him as a quad with Swift Sparrow 3, um, and you don't really need that either, like, just get him together with a, um, speed giving Mythic. I would honestly consider giving him, um, Sturdy Impact, because it also helps his, his, um, what's it called? His bulk. Many units can actually take him out on retaliation or, or otherwise. And he's probably quite well off with a bit more bulk. Um, but yeah, I think I think I think I know how I'm going to go at this. I'm going to use and again, could I? Is Leon a good idea? I don't think so. Cause Fjorn is just going to rip him a new one. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't think I don't have really a solution against um, against against Fjorm on that team. Do I have one here though? Is it any different? Speed forty-two. She has a speed of thirty-nine. She has a lot of attack. Then again, on this team, what I can do, I mean, remember, Divine Breath gives her a boost, and then I've also got a lot of goads. I've got three goads, as a matter of fact, on this team. So if I've got three goads around uh, Naga, I can turn Naga into an offensive monster, which is odd, okay? Um, but yeah, we can do that. So I do think I have the units on this team to take it. Um, let's go for it. So I said that... I said that what we would do is um, go with Young Sita and bait Brassier. Now there's two ways to go at this actually. I can either do it here and risk the bull trap, or actually leave these structures intact. No, I can't do it there because then I'm actually getting Kranya as well. Stupid me. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do it like that. Let's. I see. You have my trust. What next? Yes. Of course, <laughs> with utter certainty. Consider it For done. Dane. What to do? Ooh, she was faster. Interesting. Let's move. How much damage can we do to a Kranya? We have to do... Oof, 75? Uh, how about no? Then again, we're getting plus 5, plus 9. Um, can I have them both in range? No, I can only have one in range. Unless I put her like there, but then I'm risking a lot. Um... Hmm. I'm ready. But like the most I can have is plus five due to the her B skill. Um, if Kanye attacks first, what to do? um, plus nine, of course, plus With thirteen, plus less. seventeen, gets her to seventy-two, and the most I would have to do is seventy-five, right? Due to getting heal twenty here, seventy-five. No, we're not doing that. So we're just stalling a bit more. I see. I think I'll do 
this and what next? Yep. You know, the question is, can Altina do it? Probably. Probably. Consider it done. I mean, she's going to tank the first hit like a champ. For Dane. Do I have enough time to get the pots, though? Yeek. The pots are going to be a bit of a difficulty, honestly. Oh, gosh. Please let this not be the trap. Ah. Uh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to take out the rest with, with these units, which I can do. Um, of course. With utter certainty. For days. Yep, that should be fine, like this. Bring it, Kronya. Beautiful. What next? Now he would do how much? I won't lose. He does plus four, plus eight. Let's move. Otherwise his what attack next? is three more, so it's nine more. And he'll lose. He'll just barely quad. Let's move. And do we take him out on retaliation? Doesn't look what like next? it. We need to do 69, and we don't have that. Ah, uh, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. What to do? Consider it done. But since you he has no hard daring, we can do this. It will be done. I won't lose. What next? Yes. Mm, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get the last pot. No, we're not gonna have enough time to get the last pot. Oh, that sucks. Or do I? No, 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 I don't. Or, or, or? You have my trust. Consider it done. Mm. I mean, she survives with one HP, right? Yep. She does 57. She has 58. Uh, have my trust. I might be able to take it like this. But it is going to be in... Oh, gosh. Let's move. How the... I can take it with one pop. It will be done. With utter certainty. Can I do it anyhow? Can I? I mean, I, I need her. What is right, I need her. You have my trust. What next? I... Damn! How do I get that pop? I mean, no matter what I do, I need both of these. It will be done. Either Naga or um, Mickey have to take out, right? Because if I otherwise I can't take out the Ether Fountain with Sita. Like Sita's the only one who I can actually reach the the Ether Fountain. I won't lose. Uh, couldn't you be a ranged unit, Ike? Consider like, it done. Somehow. With utter certainty. Let's move. You have my trust. She have repo. We'd be perfect. Oh, one of the few cases where not having repo kills me. Oh well. Guess we'll take this with one pot, and we're going to have to try throughout the week 
to get more pots and not lose any more pots. I think I can lose two pots per week, and yeah, that's that's the first one. There we go. Thanks, Tag. Um, tricky match. Um, uh, yeah. Oh well. At least we got it full win. Nothing has come in so far, so I think that's match one for the week. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, and take care. Bye.